F-16 fighters supplied to Ukraine will use the latest French precision-guided AASM hammer bombs. F-16 fighters supplied to Ukraine will be able to use the latest French precision-guided AASM hammer bombs. This was stated by a member of the French Parliament, Chairman of the Commission on Defence and Armed Forces, Thomas Gasselud. Significant work is being done to adapt AASM hammer bombs to F-16 aircraft that will be delivered to Ukraine, he said on the LCI channel. Rumours about the possible integration of AASM bombs into Ukrainian F-16s have been circulating for a long time. The new message can be considered the final confirmation of previously stated data. AASM is an upgrade kit for conventional free-falling unguided bombs. The hammer's range is approximately 70 kilometers. Modularity provides for the possibility of integrating various guidance units and various aircraft bombs. Note that Ukraine is already using AASM at the front. They are carried in particular by Soviet Su-27 fighters. The standard carriers of these ammunition are the French Mirage 2000D and Dassault Rafale aircraft. Four countries have pledged their aging F-16s to the Ukrainian Air Force so far. These include Belgium, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands. Different sources cite varying figures, but the most commonly mentioned quantity of F-16s that Ukraine will receive is 61 units. It has been frequently reported that the arrival of the first F-16s in Ukraine will likely begin in mid-2024. However, as the officials from Great Britain and Denmark suggest, the delivery timeline isn't solely dependent on the suppliers. It rides on the pace at which Ukrainian officers train. The faster they upskill, the sooner F-16s will be delivered to their homeland. Kyiv has long requested the advanced jets to upgrade and replenish its air force, battered by more than two years of war against Russia's superior and more numerous aircraft. Russia has used its aircraft, flying outside of the reach of Ukraine's air defences, to launch devastating aerial guided bomb strikes on Ukraine. Ukrainian drones destroyed Russian miracle weapons depot Forbes. The Russian Air Force drops up to 3,000 adjustable KAB bombs on the Ukrainian positions on the front line every month. That is why on April the 27th, Ukraine sent dozens of long-range drones to an airbase in the south of the Russian Federation and blew up a warehouse full of smart kits for cabs. Forbes reported video and satellite imagery from the aftermath of the attack on Kushchayovskaya airbase, 200 kilometers from the front line in southern Ukraine, depict burned out buildings and heaps of wrecked cabs. The overhead imagery may also hint at the destruction of at least one Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bomber, the Russian Air Force's primary cab carrier. To change the balance of firepower, you will need much more than one raid on bases with air bombs. Ukraine's ability to damage Russian tactical aircraft, especially those using adjustable bombs, will be key for defence, the UK Ministry of Defence noted. Since the middle of last year, the CAB has been the Russian Air Force's primary aerial munition. The bomb's rough analogues of the US-made Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range and French-made Hammer Glide Bombs both of which arm the Ukrainian Air Force's own fighter bombers, range 25 miles on pop-out wings. They help keep Russian jets outside the range of Ukrainian air defences. Each cab packs hundreds of pounds of explosives. The explosion leaves a crater 6 metres deep and about 20 metres wide. All buildings and structures simply turn into a pit after the arrival of just one cab, wrote Igor Sugar, a trooper with the Ukrainian 3rd Assault Brigade. The cab is a miracle weapon for the Russians, Ukrainian analysis group Deep State noted. And the Ukrainians have practically no countermeasures, except perhaps to blow up the sheds where the Russians store the bombs before loading them for a piece onto their Su-34s. It's unclear exactly which drones the Ukrainians flung at Kuchayovskaya. They've got options, including ex-Soviet spy drones with warheads in the place of their cameras, modified hobby drones packing pounds of TNT, and pilotless short planes with bombs under their bellies. Be that as it may, this attack was a large-scale one. The Russian Federation reported that 66 drones were shot down, but not all. One definitely hit, probably the main goal of the raid, a barn full of cab bombs. By destroying perhaps dozens of bombs, Ukrainian drone operators gave their comrades at the front a short respite, a day or so. 
But many more raids on Russian bases will be needed to significantly limit the Russian attacks on the cabs in the long term.